Bismillahir Today I'm going to be learning how to make gobina paratha. So what you will need is one small cabbage shredded, uh, one teaspoon of ginger, one tablespoon of oil, half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, uh, half teaspoon, one teaspoon of coriander powder, two green chilies which are chopped. A half teaspoon of salt, a half teaspoon of kalunji or black seeds, a, ha- a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garam masala, a quarter teaspoon of anardana powder, uh, green coriander. So first what we did was that we shredded the uh, gobi, the cauliflower, and now we're adding in the oil into the fry pan. First, what we did was that we put the oil in and then we added our cumin seeds and our kalunji. And we're also going to add a little bit of ginger. Cook it for about like 30 seconds to a minute. Now that that's uh, almost ready, well, it's done, and now we added the ginger. And you're going to keep on mixing it. You're going to keep on mixing it so that it don't get burnt. So now we're adding, adding in all of the masala. And we're also going to add a little bit of water. So that that the masala don't burn. Cook them to about medium to low heat. For about two to three minutes. And you're going to keep on adding water. So after this is done, we're going to add the gobi. We're going to cook it about till five to six minutes. So now we're adding in the cauliflower. So in between this, you're going to add a little bit of water, about like a half teaspoon, so that this don't, the cauliflower goes soft and that it properly cooks. So we added our two green chilies in. Were fi- they were finely chopped. And this is a really easy recipe to make. So like if you don't have like anything else. So now we're going to add the green coriander. We froze our coriander, that's why it looks like that. But you can also add fresh coriander too. So this is ready. So the stuffing is ready. And now we're going to... So you're going to add the stuffing into a separate board so it goes a little bit cold. So that when you add it into the paratha you're going to want it to be a little bit cold so we made our atta which was uh one one tablespoon of oil a fourth teaspoon of salt and that was to make a soft dough so you're going to grab a little bit of the atta and you're going to make a rounded little better. So you're going to lie it on the surface and then you're going to roll it out. And then after that, you're going to add around two tablespoons of stuffing. And then after you've done that, you're going to make like a little dumpling shape. And then after you've done that, you're going to softly close it with your hands. And after you've stuffed 
softly close it with your hands you're going to roll that out again so that it makes like a big platter and then the stuffing goes all over and we made about like seven to eight parate and that's how you're going to close it so it's like closing a dumpling like in the shape of a dumpling that's made so it's like that and then you're going to press it with your hands properly so that the stuffing gets all over and in the parata to roll it into like a small parata but it's gonna make like a big one after So you're going to roll the paratha with soft hands because then if you do it really hard then all the stuffing is going to come out. So that's ready, now it's ready to go in the fry pan. So you're going to drizzle a little bit of oil and then you're going to put your paratha on. Uh, after you've done that you're going to let the first side cook for about like two, one minute one to two minutes and then you're going to flip it over add butter so after you flip the butter side you're going to slowly press it with the spatula like we have a spatula here and you're going to slowly press it so that the paratha from the inside gets cooked too so it's it was cooked on medium heat medium to low heat so now we're adding the butter so we've already made one paratha and paratha and this is our second one and this is how you're going to make all of the paratha it's going to make about uh, it's going to make about six to seven parate and you can go more stuffing if you want to and you could do less stuffing if you want to and you can have it with chutney, yogurt and a jar too the taste is really nice we had it on its own since it was nice that way we also had it with tea it was really nice that way too. So you're going to have to keep on checking them to see if they don't like get fully burned and if they're fully cooked from the other side. And you're going to keep them on one side for about like two to three minutes. And you're going to keep on pressing them so they get cooked properly. So that one's done. We're placing them on a rack so that if you place it on the tissue, then the paratha that was placed first, that gets soggy and you don't want soggy paratha. So again, this is how you close them. They look like a dumpling shape and then after you've made that like dumpling then you're going to press them with your fingers really well so then that the stuffing properly gets locked in and then you're going to roll it out softly not with like hard hands because then the stuffing is going to come out So these are really easy to make and they taste really nice and it's not like it, it take it don't take that long it's it don't take that long to make
so they tasted really nice and if you made it let me know in the comment section down below share with share it with all your family and friends like share and subscribe so for some reason our comments are disabled but we've got other pages like a facebook page and an instagram page they're all learn with the Kadis and you can comment on those because we post whenever we upload whenever we upload on youtube so that's the same thing and now we're going to show you the final result of these parate so these were these like share and subscribe to all your family and friends again they tasted really nice bye i love is.